Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're doing another how to a bit video and um this video is on different types of combat and when I say combat I mean like the weapon you're using to attack your opponent when you click your uh left mouse button one. So you should already know that left mouse button one is uh is how you attack. Just click it does a it deals a basic attack. Most M1 deal four point one damage four times and then 4.5 so it's like it's like 20 20 damage if you land a full combo your opponent has 100 hp so five and one combos is about your opponent's whole hp now the main focus of this video is the different kinds of m1 combat and um the different ones and which ones are better which ones are good and there's some just a couple special ones in there too so the first one is basic it's fist combat um, you basically just most characters just use their fist if they want to attack and um, If you they I did a video on like aerial, aerial combos and all the aerial combos and stuff like that They're all the same for all characters. So when I talk about different types of combat You don't have to worry about there being different combos because it's it's the same combos now fist combat the most notable thing about it is it, it has the shortest range out of like every combat, which is not that good. Um, it ha has a short range, and um, the one thing I do like about fist combat though is I feel like fist combat is the easiest to land the combos with. Now, like I said, they all have the same combos, but some combos are some weapons are easier to land combos on. Like I feel fists is easiest to land combos on maybe it's because most characters use it and i've used it the most but i feel like fist is uh has is the easiest combos but you know it it um has the shortest distance so this this, this is how far away you can hit somebody with fist from so you know if, if, if someone's standing still and you're standing still you can hit them from right here so that's like um let me move this dummy back to the start of this block and then we're gonna measure it. Okay, so it's it's about one block distance from from where you're standing that you can attack with your fist combat. So next type of combat is going to be sword. Okay, so sword combat. It looks a little different the animations, but it's it's once again everything's the same. Now the thing about sword combat is it has a longer M1 distance. So you saw from right there. So, um, fist can hit you from right here, but swords. If I back, I can back up even more. So, sword, swords like a, a a block and a half, which is a big difference in a fight. If you can hit your opponent from here, but your opponent can't hit you, so let me show you on this 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 dummy right here. So right here, my I can hit my opponent, but they can't hit me. So that, that that's to see if I move forward a little bit, they can hit me. But this is this is. This is a big advantage in a fight. If if your opponent's right there, not hitting me, not hitting me, but I can hit them. That, that that's a, such a big advantage in a fight, because sword, you can run away, and your opponent just can't hit you, but you have that little bit of extra reach, and you you can hit your opponent. So that's really good about sword. But one thing I don't like about sword is I feel the combos are hard to land with sword. I think um. Regular combos with sword are easier to land, but aerial combos with sword are a lot harder to land. I think the key to the key to landing them that I've I feel like I do most times is I try to click faster. So with the sword, I feel like if I click faster, it's easier to land. I feel like if I click slower, eh, the the timing's all messed up. But if if you click faster, I feel like it's easier to land with sword. So that's, that's the second type of um, combat. Now we're gonna move on to the third type of combat, third most common type of combat. Okay, the 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 the, the third type of combat is um, stand combat. Stand combat is when you have a stand that fights for you. It's like a little person that comes out and attacks for you. There's like f there's five about five characters in this game that have a uh, stand combat. So I would consider it its own type of combat. Um. I think the reach the reach is about similar to a, a right. It's not as long as a sword. 
like your your stand has the same same reach as fist, but your stand comes out in front of you, so you can stand back a little bit. So basically, it's it's like in between sword and and in between fist. It's in between those two. But this combat is good because your your, your character is farther away from when you're actually attacking from. So like your character and also it, it like your character i mean the stand kind of travels out too so as you see it starts close to me and then it goes farther away so actually this is kind of longer this is actually kind of longer range than sword if if you like the first hit isn't longer range but by the time you get to your last hit you may be able to land it from two blocks away oh no not two blocks but you know like one like one and a quarter blocks away is how is how far away you can land your fourth hit in your string so that's pretty good this is actually the longest range but at, like the beginning is like not as long and um once again all the combos are the same but you're it's just, it's just like a different 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 range and it looks a little different and um yeah okay this is this is the fourth type of m1 combat it's literally just whitebeard's combat whitebeard has such a long reach like his his his, his extended like his first like slash where you see the slash on the screen is like 1.75 blocks away which is actually insane i know when i'm playing whitebeard you can just like walk around people like this and you can be this far away from them and just be hitting them like you can just kite around them don't even walk up to them because most characters you have to kind of walk closer when you're attacking but white with white beard you can just keep your distance and just attack from a attack from afar i mean imagine your opponent can only hit you from here and you're standing all the way back here with your combat just landing your attacks so basically the the, the point of showing this is Showing you, well, one, if you're playing up against a white beard and they're attacking you from a long distance, you know why. And two, you have to make sure to recognize what combat your opponent's using during a fight. So that you know, like, oh, I need to get close to them because they can hit me from farther away than I can hit them. And now I'm just going to show you, like, all the special kinds of combat that are, like, maybe only for one or two types of characters. And uh, I'll show you that now. Okay, this type of combat is a uh, Sanji combat. Sanji's the only character who fights with his legs. And in my opinion, this is the worst combat in the entire game. Because Sanji's combos are so hard to land. It, it, I can't even land like a, an aerial combo with Sanji. Because like, I, don't, I don't know the timing. It, it's just so bad. And it deals no extra damage. It's it's just, I mean, we can check the range, but I I doubt it. It's anything special. Like, Sanji cannot land a single attack from here. So it, it's a regular M1 combat range. It's it's not that good. It just it's just like a worse version of Fist because it's harder to land that aerial combo. Neji has a different type of combat. Um. It just looks different mainly. It, it's the same range than a regular. It should be the same range as a regular combo. Yeah. The only difference about Neji is that his his combos look a little different. It's like his uh, down slant combo looks a little different. So okay, I messed that combo up completely. But his down slant combo is basically a rotation. So like I did not use a single move there, and it did that combo. And that's basically just, it's basically flavor. It's, it's nothing, there's nothing extra good about it. It just looks a little different. But it's still easy to, to land the aerial combo. So that, it's not worse than fist combat. It's just the same. Okay, so this type of combat, some people may not know about this type of combat. And it's actually, it's like, it's like a better version of fist combat. So there's two characters that I can think of off the top of my head that use this combat. Zabuza and Grimjow. Now you may be thinking, Zabuza and Grimjow use swords. That's right in their base form, but 
what's it called? Z Zabuza, when he throws his sword, he has a different combat. And when when um, Grimjow, when he goes into Awaken, he has a different combat. So I'm going to throw my sword. So now I longer, no longer have my sword. And Zabuza and um, Grimjow, they both have speedy fist combat. So they, they can attack at a faster like rate like their combo goes so fast and um compared to other characters and honestly it's good if you're not trying to land an aerial combo because it's very the timing is way different but if you if, if you just want i mean there's no really reason for it it doesn't really need to be fast i guess if you you and your opponent click at the same time you'll land faster so it's like a better fist combat but it's not good for comboing so let me show you Okay, I just picked up my sword. Let me just show you what it looks like when you use your faster fist combat. Okay, throw my sword. Okay, you can see that that is way faster than a regular M1 combo. It it's like it's like a lot faster, which is good. Like I said, but if you want to land combos, it's not as good. I try to get the rest of these fast. Garo has sand combat. It's not. I mean, we can check the range, but okay, it's the same range as fist combat, but it it just it, it's way it's it's hard to land. Like it, it's hard to land aerial combos. I mean, as you saw, I did there. Well. I don't know. It, it feels pretty regular for me, but it, there's just no reason for it. It doesn't have to be good. But one thing I do notice with Gara is that okay, so the the, the combos feel pretty smooth. Like it, it doesn't feel too hard to land. And one advantage is that some people don't know how to play against it. So you have that surprise element. Some people don't know what you're doing, like which type of combo you're doing. And that can, I mean, it's very small. Don't get me wrong, but it, it, it can give you a slight, slight advantage. So Gaara's combat, it's not, it's not bad. Okay, so Naruto, time skip Naruto. This character, I'm going to skip past all the talking. He has regular M1 combat, but it deals double damage in Awakening. So, and he also has clone combat. I'm not sure if this Naruto has it. I don't think this Naruto has clone combat, but the other Naruto has clone combat. That actually looks really weird. I'm not sure if that's a glitch. Like, if you see when I bring them up, there's like no animation. And it, it like deals two down slams. I'm not sure what that is. This combat, it's kind of, kind of interesting. I, I barely ever play this character, but yeah, this character has double damage combat. Okay, so this is the first Naruto. And this, this Naruto just has clone combat. As you can see, when I bring him up in the air, it uses a clone instead of actually him. It, it's, once again, it's the same as regular combat. But it, it, it just looks cool. So yeah, but I mean, I guess one negative I, I can think of, once again, these are small things, but see, I didn't even land there, I don't know why, but one negative I can think of is that um, your opponent can hear the sound effect, which, I mean, the sound effect's kind of loud, it's like pain, when, when, they, when they nerfed pain, they added a sound effect to his move. It doesn't really do that much, but it just makes it so it's easier to react to. Like if you hear that sound effect, you're gonna know to to um that you're about to get into an arrow combo. Okay, so um, Dopio has a little bit of ex of an extended fist range. Most fist characters can't hit from back here. Most fist characters can't hit from this far, so a little bit of an extended fist combat range. Once again, nothing too special, but... Okay, so the last character is Gilgamesh, and if you've ever seen a Gilgamesh, you know... 
he has ranged combat, or like projectile combat, whatever you want to call it. So, he can hit people from far away. Let's test the distance. He can hit people from far away. It looks different. Um, it looks cooler. Okay, so he has a little bit longer than regular. Okay, well, let's see, because when I go up close to them and then I back up, so you can hit people from pretty far away with Gilgamesh if, like, but maybe then again, I'm kind of clicking and then walking, like walking back pretty fast. I don't know, but he, he's, he has longer, longer range. But that's like, hold on, let me see, let me test it out. Okay, so I know from like right here. Okay, he had longer range, but his his range is like like dopio range. But if if you you can have like wipe your range if you're already aggro like a, like attacking that person. So like when you attack someone, like you kind of like get closer to them. So they only have they only, he only has longer range if you can like. If you were already attacking that person, which is interesting, I've never seen that before. All right, if you like that video, like subscribe. If you found any combat methods that I might have forgotten, um, leave them in the comments. Um, this is like my sixth or seventh version of this how-to series. If you guys like the series, you know I like making it because I feel like when I was learning how to play ABA. I wish someone told me this. So, 